Uh, let's go ahead and play the freaking game. A barbaric axe. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and equip my axe or my uh, weapon slot. There we go. Now, I was naked. N not anymore. I'm actually wearing trousers and my handy dandy axe. So I don't feel as naked as I was when I started. All right, so here's some freaking mobs, some freaking skellies, skeletons. So each each time you kill them, it will pro give you experience, and you can see the experience bar down below. It's like a purple bar. All right, in each uh, light globe that you see, that that means that there's an item uh, that you can pillage. There we go. So we got uh, some health potions. There's some rats. And there's a lot of things that are breakable. You can break uh, doors, you can break barrels. Anything that you can, that is breakable, usually it will either open a door or it will drop an item like a like a potion uh, stuff like that and did you see that those are the same mechanics as like an elden ring or dark souls you know when you attack from the back all right so here i found a freaking uh bow and, and some arrows i'm gonna equip my bow right here in under range weapons there we go and don't forget to equip my my arrows all oh, right so i'm getting geared i'm getting geared here with my bow and arrow and my handy dandy uh wooden axe there we go now there's something here let's pillage so this is a frost uh, rune which uh if you there's an effect uh, it will give, I will give you uh, or your weapon a coat of frost for 60 seconds, which is going to grant me a 5% chance to inflict uh, a chilling effect. There we go. Right, so I found a, uh, what is this? A steel sword and a steel mace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip the sword over here there we go now we have the sword very nice very good graphics and you can also jump and uh, crouch There we go. So the, the game is pretty, uh, pretty well made, you know, there we go. Oh, shit. So there's a, like a skeleton warrior and a rogue attacking here. Whoa. Shit. Shit. What you got? What you got? There we go, 300 experience and 200 experience for the rogue. I send him back to hell. All right, let's see. What else do we have over here? All right, so the graphics are pretty good. Uh, if you see this, uh, they're, um, they're using the Unreal Engine. 50 experience for that skelly. Um, and as you can see here, there's some freaking light coming out, uh, from the, from the sky. And, uh, as you can see, they haven't watered this tree in a very long time. There's a, a couple of weeds growing there, but, uh, that, uh, tree desperately needs some water. Special move, kick him and he's dead. I just send him back to hell. That's all you have to do to this, to this freaking mobs. 
and then I'm almost about to level up. There we go. I've reached level two. Yay. Let's, uh, so as soon as you level up, you're going to see that uh, you, got, you have one attribute point available to use. Since I'm going to start um, giving points to my uh, warrior class, I'm going to go ahead and give a point to strength because that's what, that's what warriors use, right? Okay, so... Let's go to my skill tree up here and I'm going to use execute, put it down here in your abilities so that uh, it's right there and ready to use. That's my, that's execute right there. So it has, uh, it has a refresh uh, time timer. The abilities have almost identical names as the abilities in World of Warcraft, especially the warrior. If you can see here, there's a battle shout, uh, ground slam, uh, warrior's vengeance, you know, bloodlust, things like that. So reckless, you know, but this is one of those doors, if you can see. There we go. Break it and there's this other room and this is another scene that it looks similar to Elden Ring there's a statue with lights and there's this guy here praying uh, go ahead and kill him it gives you 200 experience all right going down going down the freaking stairs spiral stairs all right let's check this room out here and here's some barrels let's break him so let's pillage this. Oh shit. Uh, I opened this uh, chest and it has a leather jacket, leather pants and leather boots. So I'm not going to be uh, cold anymore because now I'm going to equip some freaking clothes. See, so we have a leather, leather jacket, some pants and some freaking boots. Now I don't feel that naked. I don't feel that naked anymore. So if you can see, this room has some freaking items in there. Oh shit. I didn't see you coming. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit. There we go. Send him back to hell. And the one thing that I noticed about the game that uh, it's pretty dark. Like I already put the... Um, the settings of brightness all the way up and still kind of uh kind of dark you know it's oh shit there's a spider down there um sometimes it's very difficult to see what's in front of you probably it's gonna be fixed later okay there's a spider down there Let's see what happens if, if you attack it i'm gonna switch to my bow and arrow Spider has a uh, three little babies, baby spiders. So I'm getting LOS loss of sight. So I'm just gonna let it let uh, a spider live. Oh, here's a freaking skeleton. Oh, an archer. Ah, oh. there we go. 150. I accidentally fall into the lava. A fire staff, nice. Uh, 20 plus 25 fire damage. That's only if you are a, a mage, uh, I believe. We have these two guys sleeping here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. Just for being sleeping. You got a uh, hot sleeping guy. Never sleep on your on the job. You're not just a. Uh, Oh shit! There we go. I reach level three. Let's uh, make sure I go to my skill tree and put one point here in strength. There we go. And also in the attributes into strength. There we go. Nice. There we go. And it looks like uh. There's a special item there. The light is yellow, not white. 
So it might be a, a special item. Oh shit. What the? See, like I told you, you have to make sure your stamina bar is up always. Or you're not gonna be able to attack or or move away. Plus 10 armor, plus 10 health, 25% res fire resistance, and plus 15 poise. Okay, gloves forge in the molten forges beneath the burning throne. Whoa, look at all these freaking barrels here. Let's just break them. And whoa, lots of freaking, lots of goodies. Let's pick them up. No potion. Everything up. Lots of health potions, some mana potions. There we go. 12 potions in total. Actually, I'm gonna use two of them right now. There we go. There should be other um, items that I can that I I can get. And remember that I said that we we are looking for that. Um, dungeon keeper key so we can get so we can go into the go into the the, the boss room in the game there we go this is it dungeon keeper key let's get it oh shit oh, hey where you come from man send you back to hell for attacking me sneaky little bastard and i was able to jump in here well, I haven't seen this room before. Just gonna see what do we have here. Make sure that. Um, but that's this is the room where or those guys were were sleeping. Remember, we we caught him sleeping or we caught him lacking or both, and we send him back to hell. What is this? What did I just picked up? Oh, I have a shield. I, I didn't notice that I have a... I picked up a freaking shield. Make sure we keep equip the mana potion as well. All right, so we're, we're doing good. This game should be really good if, uh, if they... Oh shit, a breakable freaking wall. What the? I didn't know that. What do we have here? Oh shit, holy runes, five potions. Nice. All right, more uh, healing potions. And we are into 30, 30 minutes in the game. Silch zero, zero deaths. Nice. <laughs> more potions, now I have 18 potions. 19 nice so that that was like a secret room it was like a secret room i i broke the the freaking uh wall i feel like i'm, I'm missing stuff like uh, okay i have 21 health potions but i feel like i'm missing something Let's see what else we can find see there's some items in here so there should be a way to a way to um inside this room there should be a way inside here let's let's find it oh here let's see i'm gonna jump there we go oh there's some barrels in here with some health potions oh shit there's a guy over there What is he doing? Let's check it out. Let's talk to him. Trying to escape. Well, Trying to escape. Good luck to you, my friend. I chose to stay here. There is nothing but pain and misery in the depths. I doubt you'll survive. This is just the beginning anyways. If you make it out, that is. Dude, I'm gonna make it out. You can leave me now. All right, buddy. A nice sword. 
so it's pretty much uh um he's done he doesn't want to continue anymore oh he's he has like a tiny freaking uh, bonfire going on here let's see i'm gonna try to attack and let's see what he does Oh shit. Whoa. The heck? Oh shit. Whoa. Calm down, buddy. I was just... Whoa! What the heck? What the heck, dude? He attacks super fast. Is he one of the bosses? Probably. Son of a gun. I'm gonna go back and see if I can if I can kill him. Trying to escape. Did I miss? I think it, it glitched out. He's not attacking anymore. There we go. Finally. Oh shit, he dropped uh, something. Let's pick it up. And it, and the, the light orb or whatever it is, is different. It's like, almost like, oh shit, the, the, the sword. Logri, the blade of the dread. Nice. Let's check it out. Let's see. The curse. Those who wield the blade are forever haunted by their own fears and the anguish of those it has slain. Effect. Using this weapon will deal one dark damage per second until death, and dealing damage with it spreads the effect. Hmm. Whoa, this is a big freaking sword. Oh, it's it's it actually um, the effect of the sword by equipping the sword uh, you will lose health my health bar is going down pretty fast so I'm gonna make sure I'm not it's still doing that effect holy shit all right let's run to the uh, I'm gonna have to run to the um, the dungeon keeper and I believe it's near here. It's right there. I see it. This is the cage. So we're going to use the dungeon keeper key. Boom. All right. So we're going to get ready. So I'm going to uh, make sure I have the right equipment. I'm going to equip this, the Lodri, the blade of dread, the sword. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not really sure. Okay. So. Make sure I hurry up because um, my health is going down because of the freaking effect. I'm going to use the 
this freaking um, ice uh, rune. So we're here. Look at my freaking sword. Hell of a big freaking massive freaking sword with oh shit. Oh my 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 health is going down. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wrong freaking potion. I was drinking mana potion instead of a healing potion. Dude! Get the fuck out of the way! Ah, oh, no way. There we go. Oh, we're ready. With all my special freaking uh, items, my freaking sword and my uh, freezing orb or whatever it is, I'm gonna kill this guy pretty quick. And I have plenty, plenty of uh, um, killing potions. There we go. Then you back to hell. Demo completed. Yay, guys, we did it. There we go. Massive freaking sword. With this freaking um special rune and you kill the boss pretty quick so there you guys have it the depths of despair and if you um down here there's this room in the back oh shit there's a girl there's a captive um a captive girl over here this freaking dungeon keeper has a, a girl captive in here. She's crying. Uh, the graphics are pretty good. Freaking uh, Unreal Engine. Man, it's the blood. Holy shit. Let's see if we can break the door. We can break the door. Try to save her. And there she's at. She's crying. All right, maybe in the game, maybe when the game comes up, when it, the game is released, we're going to be able to save um, this girl from uh, being captive by the dungeon keeper. There's some stairs there, but you can go, you can go uh, through the door here. So that's it, guys. Totally rock. We finished the uh, freaking... Um, dungeon of despair the depths of despair they're not as deep as um you will think because i was able to beat it all right let's go see you peace out later weebs